Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano ba tayo nagdi-divide ng decimals. Alright, so before you proceed to the division of decimals, magkaroon muna tayo ng example kung paano ba tayo nagdi-divide ng whole numbers using uh, the long division. So let's have 486 divided by 5. So, yung 486 is the dividend and then yung 5 is the divisor. So, kapag sinulat natin siya using the long division, yung 486, yan yung nasa loob and then yung 5 na divisor, yung nasa labas. Okay, so let's have this given example. We have 486 divided by 5. 4 Divided by 5, obviously hindi naman yan pwede dahil wala naman tayo makukuhang 5 dun sa 4. Next natin is 48. 48 divided by 5 is equal to 9. So, is, ilagay natin yung 9 dun sa katapat ng 8. Okay? Dahil dinivide natin yung 48 by 5. So, dun natin siya isusulat sa katapat ng 8. Next is multiplication. 9 times 5 is equal to 45. And the next is subtraction. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And then 4 minus 4 is 0. So, hindi na natin susulat yon. Next is, i-bring down natin yung 6. So, naging 36 na. 36 divided by 5 is equal to 7. Sulat natin yung 7 dun sa tapat ng 6. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. And then, i-minus natin yung 35 dun sa 36. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. And then, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, hindi na natin susulat yon. So, may remainder tayong 1. Maglagay tayo dito ng decimal point. At, tapatan din natin ng decimal point yung ating uh, magiging quotient. Okay? So, yung quotient, yun yung tawag sa answer sa division. And then, after adding a decimal point here, mag-add tayo ng 0. And then, bring down natin yung 0. So, naging 10 na to. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And then, 10 minus 10 is 0. Now, the answer is 97 and 2 tenths. Okay, now let's have this given example. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung given natin ay parehas ng decimal. Okay, let's begin. 244 and 8 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths. Uh, meron akong ginawang uh, tutorial video on how to read the decimal numbers. Okay? So, kung gusto ninyong matutunan yun, uh, i-search nyo lang teacher name and uh, addition and subtraction of decimals. So, yun yung title ng tutorial video ko. Uh, sinama ko na din doon kung paano magbasa ng decimal and then yung place value ng decimals. Okay. So, 244 and 8 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths. Kapag nakita mo siya na ganyan, uh, nakakalito, ba? Lalo na dun sa mga elementary pupils natin na bago pa lang mag-divide ng decimals. Okay. So, kapag ganyan, yung divisor, i-move mo yung kanyang decimal para siya ay maging whole number. Yung decimal point niya, i-move mo papunta sa kanan. Okay. So, kung yung decimal point na to, minove natin doon, magiging 12 na yan. Okay? So, yung 1.2 natin or yung 1 and 2 tenths natin ay naging 12. Kung ilang beses ka nag-move dito, ganun beses mo din i-move yung decimal point sa dividend. Okay? So, itong decimal point na to mapupunta dito. So, magiging whole number na din siya. Alright? So, yung divisor natin ay naging 12 na. And then, yung dividend natin ay naging 
whole number na rin, na 2,448. Alright? Lagyan ko ng ganito ha, para alam ninyo na nag-move tayo ng decimal point. Okay? O ngayon, na parehas na silang whole number, mas madali na sa atin. Tama? Let's begin. 2 divided by 12, hindi pwede. Move tayo sa 24. 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2. 2 times 12 is equal to 24. 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. Hindi na natin isusulat. And bring down natin yung 4. Ito. 4 divided by 12, 0. So, isulat natin dito sa tapat ng 4, yung 0. 0 times 12 is equal to 0. 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. And i-bring down natin itong 8. 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. And 4 times 12 is equal to 48. 48 minus 48 is equal to 0. So, the quotient is 204. Okay, so next, uh, i-divide naman natin itong decimal na to by a whole number. Kapag ganito na yung dividend ninyo ay decimal, tapos yung divisor ninyo is a whole number, isulat nyo lang agad yung decimal point sa tapat, okay, dun sa magiging quotient ninyo. Actually, ito na yung pinakamadali eh, sa division of decimal kasi wala ka namang gagawin dun sa decimal point bukod dun sa lalagyan mo siya dun sa tapat niya. Okay? So, hindi katulad nung uh, example ko kanina na nag-divide tayo ng decimal by a decimal. Yung nag-move tayo para maging whole number. So, kapag ganito na yung dividend ninyo ay uh, decimal at yung divisor ninyo is a whole number, tandaan ninyo ay uh, itapat nyo lang yung decimal point dun sa quotient, dun sa magiging quotient ninyo. Okay? Okay, let's begin. 9 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Sulat natin dun sa tapat nung 9 yung 1. And 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Then bring down 2. Okay? Next, 42 divided by 5 is equal to 8. 8 times 5 is 40. And then, 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. And then, 4 minus 4, hindi na natin sinusulat yung 0. And then, sunod natin i-bring down is yung 5. Okay, yung kasunod ng 2. So, you have 25. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. Huwag na natin isulat yon and then bring down natin yung 5. And then 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, the quotient is 185 and 1 tenth. Okay, now let's try this given example. So, you have 1 and 846 thousandths divided by 2 hundredths. So, paano ba natin yan i-divide? Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, Kung may decimal point ang inyong divisor, i-move nyo lang yung decimal point papunta sa kanan hanggang maging whole number siya. Okay? So, i-move natin to. 1, 2. So, yung decimal point mapupunta na dito sa right, magiging whole number na siya. So, magiging ano na siya? 0, 2 or 2. Okay? 
Okay? So, tanggalin na natin yung 0. Kasi wala naman siyang value. Dahil siya ay nasa kaliwa ng whole number. Okay? Pray natin. And kung ilang beses tayo nag-move dito, i-move din natin to ng ganong beses. Okay? So, dalawang beses tayo dito nag-move, i-move natin to ng twice din. 1, 2. So, nandito na yung ating decimal point. So, magiging ano na siya? 184 and 6 tenths. Okay? Dahil nandito siya sa uh, after nung 4, itapat natin tong decimal point na to dito. Okay? Kung saan uh, napunta yung decimal point natin sa dividend, itapat natin yung decimal point natin dun sa magiging uh, quotient. Alright? Uh, let's proceed to long division. O, wala na dito yung decimal point, ha? Na-move na natin dun. Okay. 1 divided by 2. So, that is 0. Wala naman tayong makukuhang 2 dun sa 1. So, huwag na natin isulat. And then, 18 divided by 2 is 9. Ay, tapat natin yung 9 dun sa 8. 9 times 2 is equal to 18. 18 minus 18 is equal to 0. Huwag na natin isulat and then i-bring down natin yung 4 na to. Okay? 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Tapat natin siya dun sa 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Huwag na natin isulat and bring down 6. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, the quotient is 92 and 3 tenths. Alright, so I hope nakatulong ako sa pag-aaral ninyo. Kung natuto, please click the like button, please subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Salamat!